one free gift that you can give your child that will mean more to them than anything you can buy? What is valuable for you to give the children in your life? Welcome, I'm Maria George, and in this video, I want to share the top five gifts you can give to children that they will remember, teach them valuable life lessons, and help you build a stronger relationship with them. The first gift is your time, one-on-one -on -one focus time where you can talk, play, create, or do anything where you're interacting with your child and getting to know them better. Take a walk around the neighborhood with them or plan out a recipe and then take them to the store to get the ingredients or play a game or do some fun activities together. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or expensive, just uninterrupted time where you are interacting with your child to show that you value your relationship with them and to help you discover their personality, needs, likes and dislikes and who they are becoming. I remember all the times that my parents took me to different places, whether shopping or eating or vacationing or just exploring and having fun. I hardly remember the things we bought or ate, but I do remember the time spent together as family. Next gift, your undivided attention. When your child is talking to you, are you looking at them and truly listening or are you thinking about the people you need to email for work? Let me ask this from a different perspective. When you talk to your child or anyone really, how do you feel when it seems they're not fully paying attention to you? Show that you care by listening and that they are important to you by giving them the attention they need. Put down your phone, take your hands off whatever you're doing. You may need to tell them to wait a minute or two to let you get ready to pay attention. Don't tell them you are listening while you are scrolling through Instagram or sending a text. Your attention is divided then. And I don't know about you, but when I want someone's attention, I don't want to compete with someone or something else to get their focus. Another valuable gift you can give is understanding. I'm going to admit that I struggled with this because understanding your child's needs, both physical and emotional and mental, can be hard because I learned that you don't need to agree with them. There were many times I didn't agree with my kids, especially when they became teenagers, but they just want to be heard and understood from their perspective. And I was trying to understand from my perspective. So sometimes these two perspectives did not connect. Speaking of understanding, if this video is helping you so far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I have two more gifts to share with your children and a bonus one at the end that you will want to stay for, so let's keep going. The fourth gift is acknowledgement of their individuality. Even though our children are part of our family, they are still individuals. Of course, we will teach them our way of thinking, our morals, our beliefs, and they will pick up on our habits and ways of doing things. Both my kids liked and played tennis, partly because me and my husband play the sport and took them out to play with us. My daughter enjoyed playing piano because that's what I played growing up and so I had her take piano lessons too. However, as they grow and become their own person, Person, their own unique personality emerges along with their own way of thinking and likes and dislikes. We need to acknowledge their individuality while fostering growth. What I mean is that while they are growing and becoming who they are, we should still expose them to new ideas to help them discover the world around them, but also set limits and expectations so they can be safe as they develop their morals and learn about life while respecting boundaries. Like a tomato plant. If I didn't use this frame and sticks to guide its growth, the plant would grow as a tangled mess instead of this guided, tall, fruitful plant. And sometimes I need to prune it in order for it to be healthy and focused on bearing fruit. And that's what discipline is for. Just don't use discipline to deny your child's individuality and become who you want them to be instead of who they were meant to be with their own unique set of talents and tendencies. And the fifth gift I want to share is healthy habits. I know this is not quite the same as the other things I just listed, but when I think back to my childhood, I'm really thankful that my parents instilled some good healthy habits that I have continued up to today. These habits include fruit for dessert instead of ice cream and cookies and other sweet treats. We did indulge in sweets, but maybe on a weekly basis and on special occasions, but not daily. And every meal my mom would include a healthy dose of vegetables, which should just say my meals do not feel complete unless I have something green in it. 
And even though my parents were not exercisers, they did encourage me and my brother to walk to places instead of driving. So now I enjoy a good walk. Eating healthy, getting exercise, sleeping habits, and other healthy habits can stay for a lifetime. So start them early. So for those of you who have made it to the end, the bonus gift may be obvious, but is the most important one to which it is a foundation to all that I listed above. So the bonus gift is love. All the above must be done out of love, not obligation or guilt or duty. We love our children and want the best for them and we want them to become their best. Love is patient as we go through each season of growth. I remember as a young mom, I would grow weary of the diaper phase in one of the next stage in life. And then I was eager for my child to walk. I wish I could tell my younger self to be patient and enjoy the stage my children were in instead of trying to hurry them. Love helps you persevere through each and every stage of your child's life and also in the highs and lows of their lives. Love protects. When we know something is right or wrong, we must teach our children. Don't be afraid to guide and discipline them so they are not like a tangled mess of a tomato plant with no shape, but prune and discipline so they will grow confident and strong and know what is good. But do it out of love, otherwise your words and actions will not be taken to heart. What do you think about these gifts that you can give your child? I know there are a lot of other meaningful things you can give, so share some ideas in the comments below and hit the like button if this video helped you. Then subscribe for future content. Speaking of which, what topics in child development or parenting would you like to understand better? What strategies can I share with you? My children are in college and beyond, and I have been teaching child development classes for over 10 years, so I'd like to help you. Please let me know in the comments below. I post about once a month here on this channel. If you would like to follow me in my personal channel, look up Minutes with Maria, where I talk about how to have a healthy life through simple living. Not related to this channel at all, but more about the importance of living a simple life for your health. I post more often there and will put that link in the description below. In the meantime, here's a playlist of other topics or here's a more specific video that can help you in child development. Thank you for watching.